Maple Ridge continues to be one of the fastest growing communities in BC. In fact, the mayor says it's growing at a rate twice the national average, and that's putting added pressure on public services like policing and transit. Big concern of mine is just uh, you know public safety in general. Um, another big concern is just I, I feel like there's too many people who live here now. There's not enough resources to go around. Housing is a big problem. We desperately need a significant and holistic look at our public services, be it on the health side, be it on the transportation side. To try to keep up with the growing challenges, City Council approved a 6.5% property tax increase for 2024. Some of that money will go towards hiring 16 new firefighters and 12 new RCMP officers. Uh, we're determined that we are lacking in services. If, if we had two major fires, we would be in trouble. Councillor Youssef says the face of Maple Ridge has changed, with much of the city now made up of newcomers, seniors on fixed incomes, and young families already grappling with the high cost of living. He believes the city needs to grow its industrial and commercial tax base to ease the burden on homeowners. So we're not taxing them out of their homes. That is my biggest fear. Under the proposed municipal budget, more city planners will be hired to speed up new housing projects. So with the new legislation for housing, one of the things that's happened is they've removed our ability to charge density bonus. If they're not replacing it, then now that's something that's being downloaded onto the city. So we need to find ways to build our infrastructure. The city says the tax hike is in the lower half of reported increases in the region. 6.5 is in the mid-range, and it's also a bit below inflation for the year, so... Uh, I think that's more than reasonable. The proposed budget would see the average residents in Maple Ridge pay roughly $150 more each year. Residents can go online to provide feedback before the budget is finalized in May. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.